Tori Wheel with the Oracle Technology Network. We're here speaking to members of the Java community. I have Matthias Carlson with me. Hey, Matthias. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing great. So <laughs> tell me where you're from. So I'm uh, from Stockholm, Sweden, where okay. I'm uh, running a user group and working in the industry. Okay, so tell me about the work that you do generally. Yeah, uh, I work as a consultant or a contractor for, for a company called Avega Group in Stockholm. And you know, the usual customers are in the enterprise, so we're doing uh, work with uh, the telecom industry, the insurance companies and banks, uh, and more, more of a big company that I usually work with. So tell me, uh, you, uh, you said you did architecture work, so what's a typical stack you work on? Yeah, so uh, typically nowadays I'm, I, I do kind of a team leading and, and technical project leading stuff, and, and we're building uh, architecture mainly in you know large complex systems with um, uh, integration between backend system in mainframes and SAP, and then we build you know core system with, with Java, and you know the usual stack is uh, is um, enterprise Java, or for some cases we use Spring. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell me, is Java big in Sweden? Nobody uses it. Tell me what the deal is. Yeah, it's a normal, you know, we have everything, of course, in Sweden. So yeah. uh, we have a, a, a lively .NET community, and some people are doing Ruby on Rails. But I, I would say that uh, you know, the Java community and, and all of the major players are definitely using Java for, for part of their core business. Um, in Sweden, we also have uh, you know a very large gaming industry. You mean like online gaming, and they are definitely on, on, on uh, Java. All of them. Uh, we have companies like uh, Spotify. We have companies like King.com, and mm -hmm. they are also on to the JVM, as far as I know, at the moment. Right. And you told me a little bit about you have some friends in the computer science area that are doing some cool stuff. Yeah. So, so friend, my friends uh, that we're working together for, for for the user group, they are actually researchers now at uh, Six, and that is Swedish Institute of Computer Science, and they have been into to embedded in Internet of Things and sensor networks and stuff like that for ten or fifteen years. And you know, it's it's fun to see it's actually happening now. And and you know, we have come quite a while from, from uh, quite a bit away from, from the sunspot thing and, and, and we're moving into the right direction and it seems like it's happening now, right? Right, it's a big explosion. I yeah. know we had, the, we had the Raspberry Pi store and they sold out of Raspberry Pis mm -hmm. here at DevOx. There are definitely a lot of developers that want to get their hands on it. And yes. See and what it's they really can impressive. Do. One thing is the Raspberry Pi, but if you look at the, you know, the small Yamalto ship, the possibilities with this is, is just amazing and it's mind blowing. And um, like I said, it's happening now. Almost endless. Yep. 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 Great. So, in addition to being a developer, I know you're a jug leader, right? Yes. Uh, we have been running the, the Sweden user group and the Stockholm user group for, uh, I don't know, eight, almost 10 years, so it's seven or eight years now. And we have branched off. So, you know, from start, we had uh, jug meetings or, or local jugs in Stockholm. Malmö, uh, Gothenburg, but nowadays we also have jugs in, in Linköping and Umeå and some other smaller cities, so we are definitely having lots of traction. And how often do you meet? In Stockholm we typically try to meet uh, between six to eight times per year. Uh, we, I would like to meet more often, but it, it's always a big deal to make the, the, the the meeting happens because we are always more than 200 people at every meeting. Wow, that's a good number. Yeah, they are huge. And, and the thing is we sell them out or whatever you call that. We were fully booked within half day. So we usually have, uh, you know, the last people that get the emails. When they get the email, the meeting is already fully booked. So we had Ooh. to randomize <laughs> our, our oh, email thing uh -huh. because people are starting to register phone and email lists with AAA is to start with to get the, get the email first. Wow, gaming the system. Yes. That's pretty <laughs> interesting. So, uh, and your jug sponsors a conference up in Sweden or how does yeah, that work? We have been, uh, uh, you know, spinning off the conference. So it's a community style conference, but it's run like a, a kind of a, a more of a, a, a organization nowadays because we had to do that. Uh, and it's grown so large nowadays. So, so J Focus is like 1,500 people, and it's just a huge organization. Excellent. To make it happen. So, when's it coming up soon? Yes, it's uh, in the first week of February. Excellent. So, we do a three-day conference uh, from third to fifth of February, 
and uh, we're expecting about 1500 people and we do six parallel tracks with uh, quite a diverse content. Excellent. That sounds, I heard it's a great conference, so if you're in Sweden or in the area, it yeah. sounds like a great thing to check out. And one thing we, that we do that we started out uh, last year is we're doing a very specialized sub-conference. So we do a uh, J-Focus Embedded or J-Focus Internet of Things. Wow. Totally focused on, on the new stuff. Excellent. So your your timing is excellent on that. Yeah, yes, it, yeah. It, you know, it, we got uh, lots of interest last year. We had more than 200 people for showing up for, for that conference alone and, and the, the keynote. That we wow. Had. Great. So I know you're also a philanthropist, so I wanted to ask you about one more thing. You're involved with Kivo. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, uh, I've been trying to do different things to help the community uh, or people that are less fortunate than we are. And one of the things I, I did a couple of years ago, I did a Habitat for, Habitat for Humanity build. Mm -hmm. So that's an organization, a US-based organization. So I went to Cambodia for a couple of weeks to build houses. And uh, it's hard for, for people to do that, uh, I guess, mostly. So we started up a, 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 a team within Kiva. So Kiva is also an, an American organization. So what they do is uh, personal microloans. So you find an entrepreneur in the third world and you lend them $25 mm -hmm. and you get them back and you can relend them to somebody else. And uh, to get that going, you can start up teams. So we have a Java user, Java users around the world team. Oh, cool. So it's 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 me. I'm team leader, uh, and I am invited. Uh, uh, so some of the guys from the Java Post is very very active. Um, uh, we also have uh, you know Van Riper is a team captain, and and, and uh, uh, Toto who used to run the Norwegian user group. He's also a, a team captain nowadays. So so we are. Uh, and we are building up a quite a quite large team, so I think you should join as well. I, I think I already have, it's so a, yeah, I'm encouraging have. you guys <laughs> to do the same. So you can take $25 and really change somebody's yeah. life, right? And I think it's Kiva, kiva.org slash team slash jog. We'll, we'll be sure and put the URL at the tail end of this. Yeah. So you are a Java developer, a jug leader, a philanthropist, a conference organizer. You are quite a guy. I really appreciate you coming by yeah, and talking to us. Always thanks a, a lot. Pleasure to meet you. All right, thanks. This thank is Tori you. for the Oracle Technology Network.